So physical, emotional, mental. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 patterns. Now these are group patterns. However, let me hasten to explain slowly. Um, these group patterns enfold and involve and are entangled, so to speak, in a useful way with the individual patterns. The individual patterns, if we were to track all those, it would fill the screen and fill my head. And Because if you focus on those and you play with it, you can begin to see them. Now, whether you're really seeing what's there, I doubt that very seriously. But are you seeing something that you can move and play with? Yes, absolutely. That's what we're doing now. So physical, 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 physical. Okay. Knee patterns. Okay. Dot, 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 dot. Bacterial viral patterns, yeah. liver patterns, I get that, one, two, three, four patterns there, okay. So I'm holding these on display, and as I hold them on display, it's kind of like, you can see this in the background, you can see my, um, my holographic little uh, electric sheep pattern there, how it keeps changing. You can even watch that while we're working. That's how you can start to see things. These patterns shift. It's only when you focus on them and call them something and lock into what you're calling them that they freeze on the screen and don't move. Notice these keep moving. So, like this could be a DNA pattern and there's a liver pattern and so on. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. This is, okay, old patterns of this. There's a specific anatomical female pattern. Okay, there's that. By the way, if you don't have specific anatomical female parts or patterns, do not be concerned. You will not grow them within this uh, session. Several people have increased clairvoyance. There's really nothing to do to increase clairvoyance because clairvoyance itself is a hallucination. Once you start to realize that this pattern here on the screen that you're seeing, like that dot expanding there, that's just as useful as seeing inside somebody's head or their knee or whatever. And then you start to play with those patterns like we're doing here. Let's move that whole group of patterns. It's very much like what you're seeing on the screen, which is why I positioned it so you can look at it more. Oh, it froze. Look at that. Let's get that moving again. Sometimes computers do that when I'm working. <laughs> Okay, let's go through the spinal patterns. There's some stuff. Look lower here, a lot of low back stuff here. Right side, left side, over here, middle. Okay, we're going to use some modules. Modules are like software. They contain, quote, healing, quote, healing engrams, like freaking lasers on their heads, you know, the whole reference. There's no emotional. Okay, a lot of emotional patterns, there always, always is, even with low back stuff. There's that one guy who claimed it was all emotional stuff. Of course, he made a lot of money off of that. And he was inaccurate, because it's just all stuff. Two, there. I'm closing my eyes, the screen isn't freezing. I'm just focusing a little more into the, into the kinesthetic aspect of what we're doing. Now, if you could start to release, like what you see on the screen there, start to release your patterns and let them morph and transform. See, when patterns are not moving, that's when you're stuck. That's when it hurts. That's when 
diseases develop. That's when fixed ideas occur. That's when things do not change because you're seeing them from a perspective and a frame of things not changing. Yeah, these are magnets on my fingers. I heard somebody ask about them. They're just fun things I'm playing with. Okay, so D, 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 D. There's a Jesus thing that's kind of cool. There's a Spider Man thing. One of the same thing. See, you just turn your head like this. It's a Spider Man thing. Turn your head like that. It's a Jesus thing. This looks more spiritual. This is more fun. There we go. Now we're focusing. If we want to outright hallucinate, we're focusing down through the chakra system. Down the second chakra, where the fun stuff is. First chakra, where the survival priorities are. Craig Barbara Brennan and others. Let's so release some of these financial worries, concerns. If you could find the place where you could let go, like if you were hanging by your ten fingers off a cliff and you just decided you were too tired to hold on anymore, and you let go, something Jed McKenna calls releasing the tiller, others have talked about it, basically just go back and move into the flow. The problems might not disappear, but your attraction to them, your attachment to them, and your magnetizing them to you could indeed end. 